Saturday. We're wearing floral shirts again. And it's time to air fry something. Let's go! On this episode of Desert Air Fry, we're gonna get a little weird with it and we're gonna make uh, s'mores. S'mores. <laughs> okay, so like I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but it seemed like something pretty cool. So we're gonna figure it out. Hopefully it doesn't melt all the way through the air fryer and ruin it. That would be cool. So you wanna make s'mores and you're by yourself. You don't wanna start a fire. So that's fine. No! <laughs> Maybe this one will break good. All right, that one broke it. So now we've got two really good rectangles here. No, I think what's gonna be a good idea is to tear this in half and then sticky side down. So then you've got your sticky sides down on there. So like if you were to pick it up, it's not gonna fly off or anything crazy. You know what, I should probably preheat this already. Let's go ahead and start that. Let's do 390. For seven, eight minutes. So we'll go ahead and preheat that. All right, we're preheating. So what we'll do is we'll stick these in here when they're done preheating. I don't know if we should start with the chocolate, maybe put the chocolate on there later. Let's, let's do some science. All right, so we're up to 10. So we're going to set these bad boys in here just like that. Ooh, it's warm in there. We're gonna see what happens. Hopefully nothing too crazy. And it begins. I'm gonna check back after like three or four minutes just to kind of see, make sure it's working. And then we'll come back from there. Okay, something's smelly, so we're gonna open it up and Oh no. All right, well, uh, that didn't work. Oh boy. So, uh, I mean like, so now it's back to the drawing board to figure out how to contain the marshmallow on the air fryer because I guess it's just too much. This is, this is good. This is, oh yeah, this is normal. Warning, this might be bad. This, this is bad. This is not good. Oh, the fork is stuck. We're gonna try this again. This time we're gonna do the chocolate first and then the marshmallow. See how easy these break. Oh. Never mind. We're gonna do the same temp at 390. 390 for one minute, and we're gonna put the chocolate on there first. Of course, I got the biggest freaking chocolate bar in the world. I'm gonna put two of them. Let's go ahead and start that. It probably won't take but a second to warm up. Number one. Actually, you know what? Just for the sake of the mess, let's only do one chocolate bar on these. All right, I'm really nervous. Let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, you see the mess from the other ones. Now we're just gonna stick these marshmallows on here real quick. Oh, it's super soft. Ooh, I just burned my hand. Smoosh that on there. And then smoosh that on there. And then we're gonna put it back in there for two minutes. So hopefully this turns out better than last time. And if not, we'll just go to plan C. Oh yeah. So <laughs> One of the marshmallows scooted over to the other one. <laughs> that looks good though. Okay, so now I have to find a way to get these out. I think I'm just gonna go with the triple decker on that one. All right, let's see. Aha! The graham cracker. Oh no, it's good. Oh boy. I'm losing it. All right, so we lost one. I'm just gonna fold this on top of this one. Oh yeah, this is gonna be the messiest. Ugh. So if you want to make something that's messy, this is definitely it. But all right, we made a s'more. Yay. <laughs> it looks awful. <laughs> We're gonna wait for it to cool down a bit before we just take a big old bite. I'm honestly worried I'm gonna get marshmallow all in my hair. So let's put on a hat. So now that it's cooled down a bit, take a gander. 
this air fryer s'more is leaking. It's leaking. Hot. Ow, ow, ow. This is just becoming a worse and worse idea as I move on. All right, time to take a bite. Let's see what happens. Definitely tastes like a s'more, but it's like the consistency of the marshmallow is kind of gone. It's not that good. Like the marshmallow tastes worse than if you were just making it over an open flame. The verdict is: Does this air fry? Yes. Woo! Yeah. Should you just make it the normal way? Yes. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. If you want to make a mess. Woo! Yeah. But that's what we do when it does an air fry to see if it air fries, and this one definitely did uh, in a sense. So. No, just more. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just like. It's, uh, it seems like it's more dehydrated. The, uh, the, uh, the marshmallow. It changes the taste of it. I've eaten dehydrated marshmallow. It tastes like stuff in cereal. Dehydrates is a good term. Let me show you how to make a real good mark, like s'more, um, in the house. Take, go to your stove, any typical stove, find your front burner, turn that sucker on like eight. Take your marshmallow, do this. Make sure you start a house fire. Let's do the other side. Oh, this is going so much better. Turn your stove off. Get your graham cracker. Break it in half. Some going on there. Take you a piece of chocolate, put it on there. Holy freaking crap, you just saved yourself four minutes in a mess. Do that dead. It actually tastes way better too. Thank you for tuning in and watching me burn myself and make a mess. What should I make next week? I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right, see you next time, okay, bye.